Hello and welcome to this week's podcast. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, have I seen this one before? Well, I try and change the shirt to make it a bit different, but also you can always tell by the length of hair. Yep, the hair's getting longer, probably a new one. I've not had a chance to watch yet. Um, I hope everybody is staying safe and keeping well. Uh, I've got some updates for you and have seen some things to celebrate be going on this week. And of course, then some really exciting news about other opportunities that are coming up for our students in the very near future. So first of all, let's give you an update. Um, we've been working with Judge Hildigo's office. Uh, Judge Hildigo is the local um, Houston-wide uh, lead for decision-making around um, social distancing and the, uh, the requirements for us to all follow um, as we uh, tackle the coronavirus uh, COVID-19 um, situation. And uh, we were in contact with her because we're not, we don't follow the same schedules as regular American schools. So when uh, Governor Abbott um, declared last week that schools would not be going back this academic year, we wanted to just sort of have a conversation and think about the fact that we don't technically finish till the 19th of June, uh, unlike a lot of American schools which finish at the end of May. And they have been really supportive and um, helpful with us and are helping to look at our case differently. Um, and basically, if, if when it comes to um, end of May, beginning of June, things like summer schools are gonna be allowed to open up, then we would be considered alongside those and we would have an opportunity potentially to be able to bring students back on campus. Now, it's a long shot. We don't know exactly what's gonna be happening um, by that time, but we didn't wanna give up hope. You know, hope's been one of our themes for the last couple of weeks. So we didn't want to give up hope, we wanted to try everything we can to try and bring our community together again where possible, um, as long as it's safe. So uh, the good news is that is still something that we are trying to work on. Now whether it will happen or not, say we don't know, and what form it will take, we don't know. Uh, so you're probably thinking to yourself, you're not really telling me much here, Mr. Wilson. There's lots of I don't know. Well, that is currently the world we all are living in. But the point being, we've not given up the hope we can get our community back together at some point. Now, it might be that we can only do it in small groups um, or one year group at a time. And if we do get an opportunity to do it, I think it won't be so much from a learning perspective, but it'd be more to do with um, bringing people together for closure, for the end of the academic year, a chance for students to say goodbye to each other, uh, sign um, things, you know, commemorate the year in a, an, in a nice, positive way. So many things we're unknown about that at the moment, but we wanted you to know that we are still working on that and ever hopeful that we can make something happen safely uh, before the end of the academic year. So I hope that's good news for people. Um, I'm sure there'll be lots of questions and we have lots of questions and we promise to keep you informed as to what's going on, but we are continuing to do that. Uh, speaking of celebrating things, we are desperate to celebrate uh, with our year 13, our graduating class. We've had some really um, exciting, innovative meetings uh, this week about graduation ideas, about what we can do to try and celebrate together. We are again working with our new friends at the judge's office to see if we can get some approval for a couple of the ideas we're thinking about and we hope to update you um, soon with some of those but if we can pull off some of the things we're talking about we could have some really exciting ways and we can uh, celebrate a graduation with our students it'll be a little bit different I think. In this, day, in this current situation, everything's a little bit different, but it'd be a chance for us to come together and a chance for us to celebrate and send our students off um, into the next stage of their life and off to fantastic universities all around the world. Um, so we're hoping that that be the case. I think, I think if I could get a t-shirt designed at the moment, I think I'd get one which says infinite hope or my, the Martin Luther King quote we've been talking about on it, because that's kind of what we're trying to focus on. So this week, 
Let's have a think about the amazing things that have happened this week. So we started Monday uh, with uh, our big university fair, over 120 universities. It was a huge success. Lots of people have contacted us and let us know how useful they found it and how good it was to be able to get information directly from university advisors and be part of some of those conversations. Um, it's gone really well. We're then continuing now to work with all these universities to think about future uh, fairs maybe in similar sort of formats but also work they're going to do for us and work with us on in terms of helping our older students prepare for the next stage of university and they're delighted that people like us are reaching out to them and wanting to be a part of, um, of making these things still happen for our young people. We had World Earth Day, the 50th anniversary of World Earth Day. Uh, our senior students, they, some of our senior student leaders set some health challenges about getting active and getting learning and making a difference on our paw prints as bulldogs. Um, some, some great stuff that happened on that day and, and I, think, I think I've said it before, but you know, whatever else is going on in the world, we've got to think about this world of ours and how we look after it. Look after the people that are in it, but look after the world that we are all inhabit as well. So that was fantastic to see. And sometimes it's the small things, and it's the small things that we can do that can add up to making big differences and big change. We had World Book uh, Day. Um, did you dress up? I, I was dressed up. I, you might have seen my, uh, my Charlie in the Chocolate Factory reading. Um, we had a host of different activities going on during World Book Day, so it was great to see students get involved in that and get involved in dressing up and trying to make the most of it. I love the fact that people are just not letting things get them down and still getting involved in stuff. Such a credit to, to our community and to yourselves as, as individuals for wanting to make the most of things. Our Scholastic Book Fair is open. You can find the link to that in the communications, but again, reading uh, opportunities there for all students of all ages. So again, please do get involved in that. Um, then coming up, I want to spend a little bit of time talking about a few things that are coming up. I'm going to be give a bit more information about a lot of exciting things. So firstly, we've got our Dutch community. We're celebrating uh, the King's Day that will be coming up. We're really excited that we're going to be hosting some Zoom calls with the Houston Dynamo and Houston Dash players for some of our soccer teams to get involved in, learning from those professionals. And I want to just talk a little bit about um, Nord Anglia Education Global Campus. We are connected to 66,000 students around the world through our Nord Anglia Education Global Campus in 29 different countries. And there are all kinds of activities that are already out there and available for students to get involved in through the Global Campus. If you don't know about Global Campus, or you haven't done it before, please speak to your teachers, speak to your heads of year. We can help make sure you know how to access it. And we can maybe put some information in here as to how you can access Global Campus. But I mean, there's been the making music with water glass challenges is currently on. There's a new making bread challenge coming up. Our relationship with MIT has created, they've created some what they call fire hose chats. So some conversations with real life experts from MIT. There's one on space coming up. We've got one on building a better world through biology coming up. Um, there's one, one on automated, uh, I think it's autonomy in science is coming up. Uh, so make the most of those kind of great activities for our students to find out about. But you can do so much more. Did you know that you can get involved in a virtual mountain climb? Hmm? Yes, you could virtual mountain climb Kilimanjaro, one of the world's biggest mountains. You could be involved in the micro, uh, sorry, the Minecraft challenge. You get a team of students together and compete in making a Minecraft version of our Tanzania camp or our, of our Swiss village. Uh, there are lots of other different challenges you can get yourself involved in. Performing arts. There are not only education, young virtual musicians challenges. If you play an instrument, you can get involved in entering our not only education virtual uh, musician of the year competition. Uh, there's um, the virtual monologues competition. Create a short monologue based on a story of hope and enter it into the virtual monologues competition. We've got the verbatim theatre, the, the viral monologues. 
this is aimed at students that are in sort of years nine to 13, but it's about creating and entering a monologue for a virtual monologue competition there. So there's performing arts opportunities, there's exhibition opportunities. Um, there's the, our STEAM opportunities. I talked about MIT's, MIT, Juilliard, UNICEF, all these great things that people can get involved in through all of our global connections, as well as lots of different mini challenges. And there's like big questions of the week and things to really get you thinking about how to make a difference in this world. So there's loads of things that are available for our global campus. I would encourage students to get involved in that. And like I say, reach out to us if you don't, if you don't know how to do it or you want some more information about it. I know information's coming out from our global campus leads uh, over the next few days. So look out for those. So, so many things to still be hopeful about. So many things to be proud of and to look forward to. Um, I would encourage everyone to continue to make the best of it. Continue to stay safe. Follow the advice and guidance of local authorities. Stay connected to each other for our Zoom calls and our Zoom sessions. Um, through the digital platforms that we use and um, stay connected to the school if you've got any questions that we can help you with please reach out to the heads of school or to myself or to Ms. Chess Talent Admissions whatever we can do to help please stay connected with us uh, and of course stay a bulldog stay a proud bulldog proud of the stuff that you're doing and that your fellow students are doing and then get involved in things make the most of the chances that are there for you have a great uh, weekend and I look forward to speaking to you and seeing you again next week. Take care.